Hi, I'm James Cathrall, co-founder of Cathrall Audio. Today, I'm here to answer the question, do you need an audio interface to use MainStage? Let's get into it. To answer the question, yes, you absolutely need an audio interface to use MainStage, but that doesn't mean what you think it means. Let's start with what an audio interface does. The main component inside of an audio interface is the Digital to Analog Converter, or DAC for short. This takes the digital ones and zeros from your computer and converts it into an analog signal that can be sent down the cables to your mixer or to your speakers. The higher quality this component is, the higher quality signal will be sent to your speakers or to your mixer. Now let's talk about the actual devices themselves. An audio interface is required, but here's the good news. All Apple computers come with one built in. It comes in the form of the headphone jack. It's the easiest and lowest cost option. All you need is a cable to go from the headphone jack directly into your mixer and you're good to go. You do need to be careful though because the headphone jack can be fragile and if the cable gets yanked out at the wrong angle, it can damage it or break it. It's also a live analog connection, so if you unplug or plug the cable in while the power is on, you're going to get one of those big pops through your speakers. If you want to take a step up from there, the next thing you're going to be looking at are what we'll call budget audio interfaces. The one I have in front of me is the Scarlett 2i2, but there's a lot of other ones in this price range and they'll all get you pretty similar results. You connect it to your computer through the USB port on the back. It also has two quarter inch ports so that you can send that to the mixer. On the front, it's got two XLR inputs so you can plug in microphones or other instruments that can be processed through MainStage. It also has some gain knobs and then your main output control so you can control the signal that gets sent to your mixer. Something like this will help increase the quality of sound that comes out of your MainStage concerts. There's another option that you can look into. If you've bought a digital mixer or an analog mixer within the last five or 10 years, there's a really good chance you can use it as an audio interface. The main digital mixers that groups use are the Yamaha TF, the Behringer X32, or the PreSonus Studio Live Series, and all of those can absolutely be used as an audio interface. All you need to do is plug in the USB cable in the back of the mixer and then the other end into your computer, and you can use that. If you have an analog mixer, all you're looking for is the connector that looks like this. You'll also want to reference the user manual just to make sure that it can really be used as an audio interface inside of MainStage. I think for me, this is one of the best options to go with. You could already own a great audio interface and not even know it. Only thing you'll have to keep in mind is this could limit the options of where you need to place your mixer in your ensemble. You won't be able to place it on the track. You'll need to make sure that the mixer stays close to your main stage rig so that that USB cable can be used to connect them at all times. So let's say you're out shopping for an audio interface. What kind of things you're going to want to keep in mind? For me, the lowest priority would be the deck. Nowadays, even the budget audio interfaces come with really high quality decks, and you also need to keep in mind the rest of your sound system. If you don't already have great speakers, great amps, and a great mixer, then you're not even really going to get all of the benefit from that high quality DAC that you spent all that money on. The main priority should be your inputs and your outputs. That's what you're going to want to plan around in the marching arts. You'll want to buy an interface that has the right amount of inputs and outputs for the needs of your program. All right, now let's get into our main stage concert and set up our audio interface. For this video, I'm going to be using my Focusrite 18i20 that I have set up in my studio rack. First, you'll need to open up the main stage preferences. You can get there by pressing command comma. This is an important keyboard shortcut that you're going to want to memorize. We did a full rundown of the main stage preferences already, and you can check that out in this video here. Right now, we're going to look at the audio tab in the main stage preferences. At the top, you'll see the choice for the audio input and the audio output. This is where you're going to select your interface. And it is possible to use a different interface for the input and for the output. I've done that pretty often with great results. This area in the preferences is really important to check if you're using an audio interface. I always teach my performers to check this every time we're setting up main stage to make sure that that audio interface is selected and that we're using it. Now let's look at the advanced settings in the audio preferences. This is where you can change the latency in your main stage concert. And what that means is how long it takes from when you press the key on your MIDI controller until you hear the sound out of your main stage concert. One of the benefits of an audio interface is it can help lower that latency to make it easier to perform the sounds in your main stage concerts. 
So for comparison, here's the latency with my Scarlett 18i20. And then here's the latency with the built-in Mac Mini outputs. If you have high latency, it can make it really difficult for the performers to play the sounds at the correct times. Let's move on to the workspace in our main stage concert. Another benefit of having an audio interface with multiple outputs is you can control which channel strips go to which speakers. It's becoming increasingly standard in the marching arts that groups will have more than just two speakers for their left and right channels. Some groups will have some speakers in the middle that we often refer to as center fills or any other combination of speakers across the front. So when you have an audio interface, you can have really granular control over which channel strips are going to which speakers across the front. To do this, you need to go in the area right above the pan knob in the channel strip where it says output. If you click and hold on that, then you'll see the different options of outputs where you can send that channel strip. So if I select one channel strip to output five and then the other channel strip to output six, both of those channel strips will get sent to two different places in my audio interface. This can be cool to create different types of effects or can be really helpful for things like vocals and narration in your show is you can control them to send to your center fills and that can really help them pop out in your mix. So that's it for this video. What types of audio interfaces do you like to use in main stage? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. And if this video is helpful, leave us a like. And we'll see you in the next one.